Hello, and here. Welcome back to Diablo 3. We have arrived to next five. The Nephilim. As a necromancer. Tyriel sent me to find you. Malthiel has taken the Black Soul Stone. You must come with me. Too many have died here. I will intervene. But you and Tyriel need to form a plan. We must find Malthia. Tyriel should meet me in Westmarch. Go. It will be done. I swear it. So there's no remarking upon Lord of Nar being a necromancer. Just obviously on account of me also being a necromancer. I think all the other classes do remark upon it. We're going to die! Eventually. She's but not now. Kill us all. She the gates. Those gates are bound by a spell I cannot break. So Westmarch is a city environment. There's insides, there's outsides. And seamless, smooth transitions between them. It was uh, one of the... I think it might actually have been one of the bullet points as the selling features on the box. Or on the website. Selling it at the time. Uh, is our bonus uh, just over a minute now? That's good. Once our life bonus has been secured, we can move on. Excellent. I think at some point I'll have enough bonuses to life like this one that the additional bonus from life is just gonna incrementally stack and it's gonna be not an absolute bonus anymore of 50% uh, to my life but it's gonna be a relatively bonus based on the base life instead of my current life and then something like a bone armor might actually be a better way Stop. of just adding mitigation to increase my effective space. life don't go off to the streets. Well, uh, gonna do it anyway. It's the end of the world. So many have been killed, and the Reapers are everywhere. Are there other survivors? General Torian was defending a group of refugees at the old Zakarum Cathedral, but they're likely all dead by now. We'll see. Such an optimist. Just a regular merchant back there. I don't really intend to sell my things. I do prefer help of a blacksmith. I think we lost her. No, no. Those with demon blood must die. They were only townsfolk. It's interesting. Me, as the hero, I've been killing demons for, well, for X now. Well, demons, undead, animals, basically anything that, that kind of acted aggressively against me. I've been pretty indiscriminate in just killing everything that, that looked angry. The only difference between me and these reapers is, of course, that they are going after civilians. Well, I'm only going after enemy combatants. It's a, it's a thin line, but it is uh, the one line between oh, honor and civility and just outright barbarism. And therefore, the Reapers must be stopped. Okay, I'm not slowly getting there. Oh, 
Well, I'm losing corpses around the corner. Yeah, I can't have that. Defend the church! Repel these vile reapers! Strange magic radiates from these foes. Whoa, frost. Okay, and we got a full complement again of revives and mages and skeletons. Ah, we found you. I have never seen an attack like this. Why has Malthale unleashed his forces on Westmarch? Because he feeds on death. Every time his reapers kill, he grows stronger. And with the prime evil gone, Malthale believes this is the perfect time to end the eternal conflict. Humanity has nothing to do with that war. I agree. The church! Whoosh. All the refugees are inside! Follow me! Uh, yeah. That seemed like a good idea. Akarat's bane! This is worse than I feared. What is it? A death maiden! Stop her! Nephilim, your soul will be mine. Uh, no. Okay, at least she's a, a desecrator. But she will desecrate no more. We must do everything in our power to slow the Nephilim down, so that the collection of souls is not interrupted. It is the key to Malthiel's victory. Signed by Urzel. They thought they would be safe in here, but they were trapped. We must confront Malthiel. Where is he? I know only that he is not in Westmarch. He could have taken the Black Soul Stone anywhere in creation. There are no other clues? There may be. A sliver broke off when Malthale took the Soul Stone. Perhaps by studying that sliver, I can learn his plans. Then you must remain here. I will do what I can for Westmarch. So, we are the hero once more. Alteriel is supporting us. What was that death maiden doing? She was creating an orb that turns the living into Malthale's death creatures. A single orb can transform hundreds of innocent people every hour, and my men report two more of them out in the city. Soul crucibles. With two of them, Malthale has an endless supply of soldiers. This magic was not meant to be used so. I will not stand for it. Let's have a chat with everybody. So, the Haradrim have returned. Tyriel rebuilt the Order to help him take the Soul Stone from Heaven, and to protect mankind. After all, you can't be everywhere at once, no matter how powerful you are. I have read spells about crucibles that could enslave the dead. Now angels are using them? Sadly, yes. And the Death Maidens as well. Their story is as tragic as Malthiel's. Once the vanguard of his wisdom angels, they followed him down the path to darkness. Malthiel, my brother. He was wisdom. Leader of our council. First among angels. And now, he has become this. How? After the destruction of the World Stone, Malthael's mood darkened, and he left the heavens frequently. Then he disappeared completely. He must have developed a connection, no, an obsession with human souls. He was never meant to explore the domain of death. What would Rathma say if he were here? Any progress? The Sliver is still connected to the Soul Stone. As the stone changes, the sliver will change too. Therefore, I can observe what Malfail is doing to the stone, and if we're lucky, even discover his plan. What? 
a fortunate circumstance. Yeah, thank you for that hint. Okay. We stayed to fight, Robert and me. But he fell. And when they started to tear into him, I panicked. I ran. Many of the survivors here have suffered the same. You should speak to them. At long last, a hero comes to save us. That won't bring my wife back, though. Will it? A little bit of anger. It's a good opportunity to empty our pockets once more. Prepare, stash, and move forward. See anything? What's that noise? Is something on your mind? Yes, actually. I'm just remembering what happened in New Tristram after the falling star hit. I'd never seen Mira so scared. Leah came by later, telling us there were wounded men at the inn. And your wife still went to help them? I know who is responsible for this. It's the poor. They've summoned these monstrosities to take Westmarch for themselves. <sighs> Lord Familion. Fitcher. Lovely. I can't believe we're still alive. And it's all thanks to you. I thought we would die in that foul-smelling place. Hey, let's... Actually, Musty Cellar, that is something I've never been to. Is anyone out there? Anyone? Let's have a look. Uh-oh. Kill the undead attacking the man. Someone came for me. After all this time. The blacksmith heard you down here. Ah. Bloody miracle! Sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I owe you both. Follow me. Okay. Where did he move off to? Remember that noise I heard? It was that lad you rescued. I'm Bryson. I came here to see your friend. <laughs> and no, he won't go away. You don't feel responsible for him? No, I'm responsible for myself. Though I have decided to repay Hadric by helping him. And I told you to stay away from my forge. I grew up over by the docks. Not the good part of town, but it's what my parents could afford. They died when the plague swept through a few years ago, within hours of each other. Like they had to stay together. I used to hate them for leaving me, but now it's a relief they didn't have to see all this happen. Why would the angels do this to us? What are you saying? This is obviously a demon's work. Okay, let's move forward. Waypoint. And click that satchel. After years of my pleading. The Angiris Council has finally agreed to send me in search of Malfiel. I will not fail in this, as my master's presence is sorely needed in the High Heavens. Owing to Malfiel's growing fascination with the humans, Tyriel has suggested I begin my search on Sanctuary. Disorient! Okay. So, Westmarch commons are completely filled with lots of these lovely little side areas. I'm gonna, not gonna go out of my way to look for all of them, but if we're gonna pass by them, we're gonna do them. The attacks are getting worse. They'll reach the survivors soon. Oh, 
I found these events to be pretty enjoyable. A lot of variety, a lot of background uh, story building. The, some of the events don't really tie into anything. It's nice to see that there's actually people fighting back. We've been here for days. These people can't last much longer. Head to the survivors' enclave. You'll find safety there. Just helping to find more people. That's good. Also, ooh, resplendent chests. I like my rewards that way. These are very convenient for getting out. Summoner of the Dead, I thought that was me. I fear at this point I might have become a little too powerful for the content. So, so I'm just using just regular level 70 rare items. I'm not using my Paragon level. I'm playing on Torment 1, so expect it to be Challenging, but we'll see how the challenge truly fares once we actually do some boss fights. House of Screams. Reveler. Reveler the Manslayer. Also, a chicken. We can't thank you enough. You saved our lives. <laughs> so many corpses. Lovely. Oh, that's more people rescued. Let's move forward. Okay, some damage there. reflectors. Vortex, reflect, thunderstorm and desecrate. I do feel the desecrate though. Uh, out regenerating the damage mostly. And that is more Death Breath. I just think there's a efficient way to just always guarantee how to get to the next area. So it's just a matter of wondering about hoping you'll find where you need to be. Hey, Punisher Chicken. Punishers can actually hurt quite a bit. So, it depends a little bit on how tanky your character is, but if you're not tanky enough, then those Punishers, they are, well, rather punishing.
Besides just slowing you down and doing a little bit of AOE, I don't think those summoners from the dead actually summon the dead. Okay, that is not the way forward. Ooh, another side area. Uh, Plague tunnels. Um, personally, not a big fan of the Plague tunnels, and I don't think they really do much. Just a, a two level dungeon. Leave now! Save yourself! Hello there. I told you to leave! Those monsters have stripped my humanity from me! I... Ah! Even... The doomed woman. Well, doomed no longer. The angels and their monsters are killing everyone. What will they do to me when they find out what I truly am? My mother and the demon attack she survived. It's, it's all too horrible no. to contemplate. An innocent victim. Victimized by the angels that were meant to protect her. Who knows? The horrors, the inhumanity, the drama. We will put an end to it. We will stop them. Because someone ought to. Okay, something is pulsating, that is good. Gideon's row. I did not find Malthiel on Sanctuary, but I did find humans. Far too many of them. They murder and cheat one another while allowing their brothers to starve. If their true power is ever released, we are all doomed. They have a choice between good and evil, and they overwhelmingly choose evil. I think he's misreading the situation a little bit. That maiden is using the crucible. Let's wreck whatever she's doing here with these corpse piles to stop her. And again, we don't get bonus corpses from the corpse piles. That seems like a small oversight. At least a thematic oversight. Down upon yourself, mortal. Nah. Really? Darkness. Just came here because you were killing people. So don't go finding any excuses here. Oh, look, pile of corpses. Thank you. I knew you would arrive in time to save me. Did you? I am Miriam Jazia, a seer of the Vetchen people. I foresaw our meeting, but I did not see this horror. I have come to help you. There is one crucible left, and if you destroy that, the Maidens will not be able to create more. There is no time to waste. We must be on our way now. So, Miriam is going to help us improve our gear. Therefore, I'm very happy to see her. Uh, 
Little tweaks do make a, a much wider range of items usable. Blue. Bye. Malfael, he's watching you. Watch and taunt, it's all he does. I grew disgusted by humanity during my time on Sanctuary. When at last I found Malfiel, I was not surprised to learn that he felt the same way. We will cleanse creation of the scourge that is humankind, and when we are finished, the tragic mistake of Anarius will be gone. Forgetting about Lilith. You should join the rest of the survivors. Nonsense. You'll protect me. And after experiencing what those things do to people, let's just say I need to see you destroy the final crucible with my own eyes if I am ever to sleep again. Yes, that's me. I'm a hero and I also help people sleep. No. I'm seeing all this, this death and undeath around me might not be helpful for most people to help them sleep, since I think most people will be more creeped out than relieved at seeing me deal with the enemies. I see you have much guilt over Leah's fate. How do you know that name? I see the past as well as the future. You must not let it consume you. I was already wondering, I saw some, some bats fly and attack enemies. I was wondering if it was maybe Miriam doing it, but it was actually one of the uh, revives that was using its attacks. Funny that. Looking for the other crucible. You shouldn't be so dour. You have much to be joyful about. I do not revel in joy as others do. I have learned that in terrible situations it is better to laugh than to cry. Perhaps when you have lost as much as I, you will understand. Good think of it, I don't actually remember much of Miriam's past. So in the, the lore bits, let's pay a bit more attention to Miriam. See what she has to say about things. I honestly have no idea what she's referring to when she has lost more than most. Let's say you can see the future. Does this battle have an end? Of course it will end, and you will live a long and happy life. Why don't I believe that? Because I was not being entirely truthful. <laughs> that, and you are a sort cherist that will never believe you can be happy and content. Did she just call me grumpy? A sort cherist? I don't think I've ever actually heard that word before. I'm afraid not. Hey, let's just turn the enemies against each other. All is unclear now. Uh, definitely liking this playstyle. Slowly building up our sashayed bonus. Wonderful to finally meet, though you are skinnier than my visions led me to expect. You just don't take care of yourself. It's always about saving the world first, isn't it? Hello there. 
Ah, it's a Volor. That explains why I couldn't approach them. Okay, ooh. Uh, maybe we should we get out of here. Trial, my okay, yeah. The freezers are difficult to spot if there's just so much stuff around here. Foliage and other things. Let's roll in some corpses. Okay, now we're getting spread out. Oh, okay, that's just one more and there's a the chicken. Death to the chicken. They are dealt with. Oh, they're doing decent damage. So the earlier remark about feeling pretty darn powerful might have had something to do with, of course, that this is the uh, beginning of Act 5. And for a lot of people, they would have been playing this with characters that had previously defeated Diablo and were at level 60. And then oh, a lot of us stopped playing. So if you're playing this, you would be level 60 and you would be undergeared. Rather than actually using your endgame gear, you would be using Act 5 to level from 60 to 70. It's also why the level 61 crafting gear tier exists, because it's, it's a little bit of an odd number that there's a 60 and a 61, but that is of course because of how the expansion got added. So 61 is the starter gear for Act 5 and 70 is the end game gear for Act 5. That is not possible. So we are slightly ahead of the curve. But I don't think that matters too much. Here, you be attacked by skeletons. I have trained well. Ooh, Paragon 100. We got a new portrait. So for this playthrough, I am ignoring Paragon points. That's we're already powerful enough. We don't need to be more powerful. Because if we were to use Paragon points, then we might as well just increase the torment difficulty as well. And In the end, it's nice to just have a single playthrough on one difficulty. And have no unfair advantages from a Paragon levels. Hey, a goblin. Kill the goblin. I'm afraid not. Yep, you're gone. Excellent. I wonder if during the campaign we will face other kinds of goblins other than the regular treasure goblin. So I think it might actually be that the special goblins are all just adventure mode exclusive, like quite a lot of things in the in the game. Just get a couple more revives out. There we are. That is not possible. Strategy here that I'm using is to just stick to the outside of the level. That's often a reasonably effective way for just getting to an exit, but I realize I did miss one exit. In the end, we'll see. We are making an interesting turn here.
This looks like there might be an event here in other situations. Oh, there's a yellow up there. Let's just summon the skeletons and then deal with the yellow. Ew. Mortar, molten, frozen, pulse and shielding. That spell shall silence you. Let's just get a couple more revives out. Maximize our mages. And go. Oh, freezing pulse. Again, freezing pulse, let's get out. The Wait for the explosion. Pleased. And that is good. Hey, um, this turned out to be not entirely the way to go. Way forward probably lies in the bit we skipped before. So let's just see if we can get there. Or whether this was indeed not the way to go either. Hello there, Lithian. Listen, the exiles. Not Lithian. Listen. Okay, you didn't do much. Interesting bit about the purple monsters is that they have special powers. But they are hidden, so you have to be a little bit more observant to see what they do, rather than just reading the spoiler text underneath their names. Noble's Rest Courtyard. You are such the artist when it comes to dispatching Death's minions. Death is my expertise. I'm a necromancer, after all. Don't huh. mind me. I'll just be waiting over here. Uh, yeah, wise move. So, let's re summon our armies of the damned. Let's get some revives up. That's gonna help us just distract the Punisher. It will make a fine addition to my army. Exactly. Excellent. Another fine addition to the army. Okay. <laughs> they turn a little smaller upon getting revived. In fights like this, you do notice that the mages do have a rather short lifespan. It doesn't really matter. There's just so many minions going around here that... It doesn't really matter what they do. Eventually, everything will become a minion. And there's so many minions that not a lot of foes think to attack me, because I'm just one out of many. No. Catharis. No! Someone was not happy to see that. What was that wretched noise? That would be Urzael. And? Urzael is the angel who commands Malthael's forces in this city. I think you made him angry. I have that effect sometimes. Tyrael should hear of this. Yes. Let's see, lose some toughness, gain some recovery. Don't think that's a fair trade off. But either way, I need to go back. Portal back to town. Oh, 
Uh, let's just salvage some more gear. Oh, and there is one more. Excellent. And then there's lots of people that I want to be talked to again. Oh, I can't believe it. My best hammer's gone missing. It couldn't have walked off on its own, though, could it, lad? One of the men needed a hammer. He promised to return it. Fool boy. I'll never see it again. I'm sorry, Heydrig. <sighs> Get out of my sight. I don't feel like talking right now. My mother warned me about the poor. They want my wealth, but they don't want to work for it. And now they've created an army of death creatures. Well, when I'm king, I'll just show them. We're not going to die, are we? Tell me we're not going to die. I don't want to lose my soul. I think you need a soul to lose it. You sound rather soulless. Is this truly the work of angels? I don't understand. How could they? They have never cared for our kind. But these are the first to act against us. I will handle them. Good. Let's see what they have to say. You are ill at ease, Cormac. We must speak. I have discovered that my order tortures its initiates and twists their minds. I need to know how high this evil reaches. If my whole order is corrupt, what does it mean to be a Templar? What am I? You are one of many who believed in serving a righteous cause. But it wasn't, was it? The guilty will answer for their transgressions. I swear it. Who is angry? There's no easy way to say this, but I have to leave. And I won't be returning. Is this your new joke? I'm serious. My brother's imprisoned in Kingsport with no way to defend himself, and I must free him. You would never make it there alive. Westmarch is still overrun. All right. I'll stay for as long as I can. But only because I know how much you need me. I, in fact, don't need you. But you're giving me a quest. It's time for me to go. My brother will die in the Kingsport dungeons if I don't act now. A Kingsport prisoner, you say? Hmm. Those poor devils were all transported to our cells in Westmarch last week. But we haven't heard from the garrison since the attack started. Edlin, I have to find him. Will you help me, my friend? Uh, sure. Right then, this is where they're holding Edlin. Let me do the talking. <laughs> Looking for your brother, Lyndon. He knows you. Damn it all! The Thieves Guild always finds who it's looking for. The Thieves Guild again, eh? The Thieves Guild infiltrated the entire dungeon? It's one way to keep the thieves out of prison. You can't hide behind your friend, Lyndon. Well, your friend is off plundering treasure, so I guess he'll have to. So next five, I think each of the followers has their own side quest, like this one, just a, a mini mission that will just give them a little bit more depth, a little bit more background story. He's here somewhere. Okay, looking for brother. Nice change of pace and scenery, of course, not having to fight corrupted angels. But instead of going after humans. Thought humans were not the enemy. Oh well. Bullets. 
Oh, and uh, Iron Gates. You die for what you did to Nigel. Ah, yeah, Nigel being the Assassin's Guild dude we killed back in Act One. Didn't really help much. Edmund! He's... He's gone. I never should have joined the guild. He told me, but I wouldn't listen. He was dead before we arrived in Westmarch. I can see the signs. That dagger looks very familiar. Take it with you. There may be more to this than we know. Lyndon, I grieve for you. Want me to reanimate him as a skeleton? No? Too awkward? Okay. How are you faring, Lyndon? What do you want me to say? That I wish he'd never known me? That I wish he'd had a brother who didn't fail him? That you will try to find the truth. You have no brothers. You've never loved anyone. You can never understand. Harsh. Okay. What do you have to say? I have heard that the Grand Maester himself is in Westmarch. It is imperative that I find and speak to him. I will tell him of the sins his order is committing. Is that wise? He could be behind them. No, you are wrong. My first memories of being a Templar are of him comforting me, welcoming me to the Brotherhood. I looked into his eyes. He is a good man, I tell you. Mm -hmm. Today is the day I find out how deep the Order's corruption runs. Good. You seem determined at last. I will do it, even if it means going against my entire Order. I could use a good friend by my side. I will be right here by your side. This uh -huh. is one of our strongholds. I will have my answers soon. Whatever they may be. Cormac! Everyone says you helped slay Asmodan and Belial. They're calling you the greatest of all the Templar. It's good to see you as well, brother. But I come with troubling news about the Order. I must speak with the Grand Maester. You're in luck. He's here. Standing orders are to send you to him upon your return. Take this. The Grand Maester's new proclamation. That sounds ominous. You've done us all proud. This proclamation from the Maester, it's damning. He admits his own guilt. How could I have not seen this? The day of reckoning is at hand. We will rise from the ashes of Westmarch and lead mankind into the light. We shall have recruits by the thousands. Every citizen will be another Templar added to the cause. Once cleansed by the Inquisitors, they will become an unstoppable force. What a surprise. Have nothing to do with John Dar's corruption, Cormac. You're a hero. A powerful man wants more power. Our time has finally come, and we owe it all to you. I do like the music here. Whip. It is time to purify this initiate. Stop! How can you do this to your fellow Templar? We bless them with the truth, as we did for you, Cormac. But if the greatest of all Templar wishes them freed, it shall be so. We've been ordered to take you to the Grand Maester as soon as possible. Follow me. This does not bode well. Cormac, the shining example of a true Templar. We have much to talk about. Yes, we do, Grand Maester. You have betrayed us all, starting with the torment of our initiation. 
It was brutal but necessary. I did the hard things no one else would for the ascension of humanity. I carry the weight of my actions with me always. Are you ready to make a similar sacrifice, Cormac? Will you stand with me and become Meister in due time? I need you. But... and I... No! Your power has driven you to madness if you think I would help you rule over mankind! This saddens me greatly, my son. I am sorry. Kill him. We did not see that one coming, right? Luckily, we turn them into chickens. And then we just revive their corpses. Where's the master? not so different from my own. There is still pain, suffering, hatred and death. I could sleep another thousand years and I would find the world much the same. Unless we fail. <laughs> so is there humans? Man is a flawed being. Time and again we have seen good men given to temptation. Though it is painful, I have found only one answer. We must cleanse the minds of our recruits. So they will never fall prey to the corruption of the demons. Or the blind self-righteousness of the angels. Seems like he kind of combined both the corruption and the self-righteousness into one here. This on yourself, let's, uh, let's see. Grand Inquisitor, somewhere in between here. Yes, I see him, so we can send our skeletons after him. Funny enough, this being a unimportant side quest that's not all about the Templar instead of me. There's no interactions with the character at all. It's all Cormac doing. All is unclear now. Doing the talking. I dedicated my life to a lie. Everything I thought I knew, it was all in the service of a madman. I swear that every Templar I meet will be freed from the lies of the Order. And if they refuse, I will be forced to convince them. They will believe you. I know it. Dum -dum -dum. Ooh, look, a resplendent chest. Awfully close to the portal. The Grand Maester, behind the Order's corruption. Deep down, I think I always knew. Perhaps that's why I never felt worthy of the Order. As if I was not a true Templar. It is a relief you are not. Your mind is free, and you can choose what to believe. I believe in you, and your quest. This world must be saved, regardless of the corruption of the Templar. And that was uh, that. Ah, we can actually also talk with the Enchantress. But I think for now, it's been going on for more than long enough. So let's call this an end to the episode here. In the next episode, we will pick up with... Some more talking, and then I suspect we're going to go after Urzael. So, thank you for watching, and see you again next time. Bye-bye.